So hey guys, it's Matt. I'm not going to edit this video because my editor is being kind of a weird thing right now and I need to fix it, but I also have so much homework to do today. Like obviously, I left it for the last minute since we have a three day long weekend and now I have like two essays to do, like a project or something, I don't know. I really have to stop procrastinating. Anyway, so today I just got the new Pokemon game and I'm so excited for it. I didn't get to the first gym yet because I've been distracted, but yes, I'm so excited about this game. I've been waiting for it for so long and yes, it's, it's amazing. The graphics are amazing. Everything about it is amazing. I love it so much. If you didn't know, I'm a hardcore Pokemon fan. Got my Firestone and my Pokeball right here on my necklace. I love it so much. Anyway, this week's theme is to uh, share the coming out story and everything. And basically, me, I didn't exactly take the smartest approach into uh, coming out to my parents. Like, first off, okay, my parents, completely different story. I came out to my friends first. Um, I basically ended up telling all of them exactly how I felt through a message, like a mass Facebook message, because my internet friends are like my best friends, so I reached them through either Facebook or Skype or whatever, so I sent everybody a mass Facebook message telling them exactly how I felt and um, all that. I never actually picked out a name yet. I just told them exactly how I felt, how I felt I was a boy trapped in a girl's body. I told them that Basically, I've been trying to keep this buried in me, if you will. Like, I've been trying to ignore it in my head because I thought it was, like, something just, like, I thought that I wasn't supposed to have these thoughts, so I kept it suppressed for a while. But then I saw um, Jaden Will, and I saw him, how he came out basically to everybody. Like, he didn't come out, but, like, he shared with his YouTube community who he was and that he was trans and everything, and that kind of inspired me, and I, I was like, oh, what is this transgender term? So I went on Google, and I was like, that's exactly how I feel, and I realized that it was completely normal that I felt this way, like, because other people have felt this way, too, and I wasn't completely alone, so I'm like, okay, so I go to tell my friends. And they're so accepting of it. Everybody's completely accepting. And then my friend Belinda, she goes, well, what do you want me to call you now? And I, in the heat of the moment, I guess I chose Matt. And Matt has always been a name that I really liked and it fits me. So that's why my name's Matt. <laughs> and after a while, things were okay. And then my parents came into the story. And I came out to them, uh, I think, two years ago on Father's Day about. Um, I sent an email to my dad explaining everything because I was downright terrified to go to my parents because they're kind of conservative in a way because how they act around the LGBT community, they don't, they don't exactly hate them, but they're not exactly like completely open because I remember being a kid, um, and this lesbian couple walked by, and then I said the word lesbian, and my mom was like, shh, don't say that word. And I was just standing there like, why? What? What? Like, because I thought it was completely normal that, like, they're, they're in love, they're, like, together, and my mom's sitting here like, shh. Like, why is it such a big secret? I mean, I'm pretty sure they know they're lesbian. Why is it so, like, weird to say lesbian? Like, honestly, I don't, I, it never got to my head. And I don't know what exactly how my parents react to, like, anything in the LGBT community, but I know they don't hate on them, but I'm not 100% sure they support them. Yeah. Anyway, so I sent my dad an email, and he basically screamed at me to come downstairs, like, 30 minutes later. He's like, you know this is how you're not supposed to be. You know you're going to still have to wear girl clothes. You know you're still going to have to use the girl's restroom and do everything as a girl. And I'm like, no, I don't because I'm a guy. And he's, he just went on and on about that. And then my mom said that I needed professional help. The way she phrased it made me think that she wanted me to go and get everything, like, fixed in my head. And that means, like... Born a girl, be a girl. But I was born a girl, and I'm a guy. Like, she thinks that it would fix that. And, uh, it didn't. 
we, I ended up going to therapy and it was how to be more comfortable as being trans, not for me to be comfortable being a girl, because I'm not a girl, I'm a guy. So, um, yeah, that kind of backfired on her ish. I don't know. Um, so yeah, he yelled at, they yelled at me for a little while, and my coming out wasn't exactly the most supportive thing in the world, parents-wise. They wanted me to hide it from my family for a while, which I didn't. They wanted me to not add any of my family members on Facebook with my new Facebook account with, like, my male name and everything. And I did anyway. Um, I kind of rebelled against that. Like, I added... All my family members, I told them exactly who I was, I sent them all messages, I spoke to some of them on the phone. I did basically everything I could to get it to my family, because I didn't think it was right for me to hide it from them, because it didn't make sense. And actually, some of my dad's side of my family actually supported me really well, and my mom's side. So, I think that's pretty good. Friends-wise, though, they were the most supportive people in the world. They didn't care. They... They really just didn't care. They were like, oh, you it's not like you'd act any different because you act like a guy anyway. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. The only thing that's really changing is, like, my name and I cut my hair. So that was basically that. And then my YouTube. Um, I came out to my YouTube subscribers on my old, old channel before I transitioned. And they were so supportive of me. I cannot think every I, I have to think like every single one of them I can't thank them enough it's just, it was just amazing I was crying for like three hours because of all the love and support I was getting and then I finally moved up to my channel hypermat 14 and I started brand brand new fresh fresh start and everything was just wonderful and now I have a th over a thousand wonderful people who support and love me for me and I, I love them all so much and they support me and I support them right back with whatever they're going through in life. So, yeah, that's pretty much my coming out story. Um, basically everything after I came out, like two years later, um, my parents are actually more supportive and everybody's just amazing uh, obviously I'm gonna get like some haters from the internet and stuff saying this isn't natural this all that but I don't listen to them cuz I know that this is who I am I know I'm not confused I know that I'm a guy no matter what anyone says and I know that people can't bring me down cuz they wouldn't if they aren't really like if they haven't walked in my shoes then they can't possibly exactly understand how I feel. So, I won't let any of the negative stuff they say bring me down. Because I know who I am, and I will always be myself. That's what you guys should do, too. Always be yourself. Don't let anyone change you. Don't change for anyone. <laughs> Alright, thanks for listening to my coming out story. Um, I love you guys. Stay beautiful. Have an awesome rest of your week. And I will see you guys next time. And next time, I probably will have an edited video because I'll probably fix my software. But, yes. Bye!